Testing, testing, one, two, three. Is he English or Nigerian? The top comment, Sunderland Till I Die Legend, Snake, who is this? And finally a player with three star, three star. <laughs> who here knows him from watching Sunderland Till I Die? Is this a guy who was in season one or season two? I haven't seen season two. What's up, boys, and welcome to the team of the season so far moments. Josh Major, aka the Sunderland Till I Die legend. If you guys watched season one or season two, I'm not sure which one he featured in. I saw season one, but I never saw this guy's name pop up, so I'm assuming it was season two. Uh, a newly minted three star, three star League N striker has just shipped, which gets Green Links into two of the most OP players in the game in the form of that Ojimin as well as Moses Daddy Simon. So the three of them combined, you can get for, I believe, around under 400,000 coins so uh, that comes in around the price of a Carlitos Velo who we're going to be featuring in this episode as well among some of the other uh, uh, of the uh, other MLS boys I do owe you guys a Josef Martinez episode uh, just because he's a, a beloved channel uh, beloved channel legend I chose Erling Holland as my fatal player but I'm wondering if maybe I should switch it up and choose someone different and maybe go with a Josef Martinez and represent MLS in uh, in my fatal run coming up to end the uh, the fatal for FIFA 20. So, I don't know. Maybe you guys let me know. But today, it is all about this Josh Major card who we're going to look at. And we're going to find out if there's anything more to him than the fact that he is lacking either a four-star skill move or a four-star weak foot. Like I always say, boys, if you guys are having a great day, hopefully these episodes in some way, shape, or form are helpful to you guys. Drop a mad lad like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Now... What do you get with this 93? It should be added that it is an, it's a massively jacked off card over a 75 in form. A 93 rated Josh Major. Three star, three star. High medium. He gets the lean body type. He's right footed. He's 5'11". So everything pretty much stock there. Outside of maybe wanting a skill move or a weak foot. But if we're talking skill move or weak foot upgrade, we're instantly talking about a guy who's probably over 200, 250,000 coins being a 93 rated player. So what do you get inside the stats? You get a 93 acceleration, 99 sprint speed, 99 sprint speed, 91 attack position goes up to 96 uh 96 with the uh, sniper chem style 99 finishing gets jacked off uh, 96 finishing gets jacked off to 99 he even can take some pens for you with the uh, sniper chem style his passing stats are pretty decent i love that he's got 99 curve uh dribbling stats go up to 98 respectively every dribbling stat 98 99 99 99 99 99. There's only one stat on his dribbling category that isn't 99, and it's 98, and that's only his agility uh, being 98. Heading accuracy, 99. Jumping, 89. Stamina, 92. And then strength, 99. So this is arguably... There, obviously, there's other players that you could get up to 99 dribbling with uh, with a particular chem style, but this is one of the one of the more unique cards in the game that has the 99 sprint speed, the 99 finishing with 99 composure, and ridiculous, ridiculous dribbling stats. We got to come up with a trait for him because honestly, under 100k, he's about he's coming in around 90,000 coins on both consoles. I would go so far as to say he gets the OP trait. Who knows? Maybe because I'm wearing a Buzz Lightyear shirt, maybe we're gonna take off in outer space. Like I had alluded to before, one of the coolest things about getting a major is that you can get some budget buys, and yes, I'm calling these budget buys, 189,000 coins for Victor Ojiman, who does have the four-star weak foot and ridiculous stats, uh, 100 and, what do we pay for him, 140,000 coins for the four-star skill move, five-star weak foot, Moses Daddy Simon, we're gonna see if this major Ojiman and Simon gel the way that I think they should, we're gonna switch to the 4-4-2 in game, play Ojiman left striker, uh, we're going to play major right striker, Carlitos Vela right mid, and then uh, Moses Daddy Simon left mid, match number one, Alice. I'm also running with whatever the hell this kid is because it looks like the closest thing to the Nigeria kit. Hey, what happened? Hey, what happened? Hey, what happened? Carlitos Vela and Ojimin build up play is absolutely elite level. Things you absolutely love to see. I haven't seen, I haven't tried out the Victor Ojimin. A lot of you guys have been asking for him. Obviously, he was a channel ledge. He had his, he had his uh, I forget what card he has. Did, did, did he have a Future Stars card? Did Victor Ojimin have a Future Stars card or am I completely making that up? Josh Major, 
coming. A lot of people Keep are calling him a major L because of the three star, three star. A lot of people are calling him a uh, major snake because of the transition from English to Nigerian nationality. Um, you always gotta respect it though, dude. You always gotta respect the guy who's uh, who's chasing a dream. If you have a you know, like, I mean, it, take me for example. You know, I've got dual nationality. I'm, I have a German passport. I have an American passport. I mean, obviously, it'd be easier to get the wins declaring for the German national team. But um, you know, I grew up supporting the. Is he out of here? Is Josh Major. I lived in Germany until I was eight, you know, and so my dad's German and I have that affinity towards the German national team and I feel like, I don't know, I mean, yeah, like if I declared for Germany, I'd feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'd be betraying the US because I grew up here and this is this is my home 100%, my mom's American, I consider myself American 100%, um, but uh, fuck it. I got a little bit too cute. Bro, I'm telling you, the left analog drip, the, the left analog, that left analog drip, the the left analog stick dribbling on this major card, doing stuff like this. Ready, watch, like this. Can confirm, uh, Pedro Vieira is a better keeper than Hamid is. <laughs> That's what Aparo was built for. That situation right there where you're caught off sides and any other defender wouldn't be able to get there, that is what Aparo's... Oh, come on, Oji! <sighs> See, I feel like... I feel like Major gets that pass off because he's got the 99 curve. There we go. Aparo. Just don't even... Don't even test him. This guy got lucky. Just don't even... Don't even test him. This guy got lucky. I mean, that, that raises an interesting question for you guys. If a player has 3-star, three 3-star, three does, that that, does that instantly disqualify... Him as a, as a player that you're looking at? Woo! Carlitos! Another guy who's got the... Uh, would have been nice to see him get a four-star uh, four star weak foot upgrade. Hey! What happened? Oh, come on, Moses! Josh Major! No! Is this Mandanda cracked? There we go. That's what you gotta put up with with the Josh Major. Ah, I feel like that's gotta be in, dude. I feel like both those chances gotta be in. End, but it comes in the form of a disgusting three. It comes in the form of a disgusting 87, uh, 87th minute goal. And if it's going to be a player, of course it's going to be the Victor Ojiman who's going to score that. Uh, don't have to, don't have to think about it with the four star week. But with this, you know, with the Josh Major being that he's three star, three star, you do have to worry about it. This is another one that I feel like uh, Josh Major needs to be banging in, no question about it. He uses his agility, ridiculous agility, to get by Marquinhos near instantly. I mean, we powered that. Yeah, dude, we powered that out. That's about as perfect as it could get. And then Steve Mandanda just comes up with an incredible, incredible save. So, damn, dude. I don't love that. My first thoughts on this Josh Major, he's had a couple bad misses. There's there's no ignoring it. He's had a bad miss here. He had a bad miss in uh, in match, uh, two bad misses in match number one. Uh, sure, got himself a goal and assist, but that's just the risk you take with a three-star, three-star. And then he makes that. And then we do the gorilla left in log stick dribbling, and then he goes ahead and he makes that. That, that that's why. That, that's that's why that's why a lot of people hesitate to complete this card, even at ninety thousand coins, because you just really don't know what you're gonna get every time you wind up and power up that shot. You just really don't know what you're gonna get. I mean, he makes whoever that was, Boateng. Yeah, he makes a flashback Boateng look like an absolute. 
Makes him look like an absolute. Uh, looks, makes him look like an absolute. 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 Looks. Makes him look like an absolute. Makes him look like an absolute. Makes him look like an absolute. Oh God! Makes him look like an absolute. Damn. And it's incredible the moment that the moment that the the moment that you start vibing with a card, it's like clockwork. The goals just start flooding in. Apar is a great card for my defending style because I like to drag my defenders and be super aggressive and take them out of position. You don't need to worry about that with Apara because look at him. Yeah, dude, he can just get he can get to anywhere on the defense near instantaneously with that 99 acceleration. With the shadow, it's 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. Makes him look like an absolute. Uh, looks, makes him look like an absolute. Makes him look like an absolute. Makes him look like an absolute. Go, Apara! Look at the pace! Look at the finish! Come on! Josh Major! Opara gets the ball back, and then we counter as quickly as a flash of bolt of lightning. And that's the power. You notice that, dude, that's Boateng that he's able to body off. He's using that 99 strength to body off that Boateng. He's using that pace to, get, uh, to separate from him. And uh, I think that's two goals and an assist in uh, in this match as well. Josh Beja coming in with the five attempts, the three goals, the absolute Nigerian psychomaniac himself. Um, Josh Beja comes in with the Hattie in this one, so he gets a two-goal contribution in match number one. Snake, that's the real snake right there. Snake is crying. Patrick Vieira is very proud of his boy. And uh, Josh Beja just doing Josh Beja things. Again, elite-level dribbling, elite-level, what I thought was elite-level finishing with 99 finishing, 99 composure. But there's going to be times when the fact that he's got three-star weak foot lets you down. In terms of value, boys, I am going to give it a four out of five. The fact that he links into some of the most OP players in Liga and the fact that you can put together a very fun uh, Nigerian attack uh, and... Because it's June, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. I'm going to give him a 3.5 out of 5. Has incredible, incredible dribbling stats. Uh, has ridiculous uh, top-end sprint speed acceleration. Can get to a top-end sprint speed near instantaneously. And is just for all intents and purposes in terms of what he can do on the pitch that's that doesn't involve uh, scoring. Everything is near flawless. And uh, for that reason, I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. Going to give it a 3.5 out of 5 just because there were a couple misses that I feel like would probably occur in Weekend League as well. And we just can't have that uh, at this stage in the game. But at the end of the day, it's 90,000 coins. It's a fun Nigerian card that you can link into Ojiman and Moses Daddy Simon, uh, two of our favorite players in the game. Uh, and a very, very fun squad to play with indeed. So that's my, uh, those are my thoughts on Josh Major. Uh, tomorrow it's going to be Ultimate Tots. Don't know what we're going to have for tomorrow's epi. Probably going to try and wiggle in a Josef Martinez featuring Nani and Carlos Vela. Carlos Vela was very good. We used him in the wings, didn't get involved in the build-up play too much, uh, but was very, very good in a dribbling uh, in a dribbling role and then uh, supplied 10 of 14 passes. And um, Opara was just Opara. He just gets to where he needs to be near instantaneously and it just is an absolute... He's a wall. There's, there's no other way to describe him than a jet wall. That's what he is. He's a wall with jets. He's a wall with jets attached. But that's going to do it. That's going to do it for the episode, you boys. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. If you did, drop a mad lad like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. If you, hopefully, you guys are staying safe out there. And I'll catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.